Hi all. I thought it would be fun to carry on the Leela se series with a sort of theme for the World Chess Championship. And David Grosvenor also thought this would be a fun idea. He ran a gauntlet with one of the strongest Leela IDs so far, 11248, and against the Division 1 engine Ethereal. And he gave the time control quite generous five minutes with a two second increment. And uh, we have here a simulation, well, them playing from the moment of the World Chess Championship game up to Bishop G7 at move five. So 10 plies in, E4, C5. Uh, so Leela playing white, Knight F3. Ethereal plays Knight C6, Bishop B5. So this is quite a trendy variation. I used to call it anti Sveshnikov variation. It used to be really annoying because I like playing uh, the Sicilian Sveshnikov. Uh, I used to a lot play this with black. So Knight F6 and then E5 to get into Sicilian Sveshnikov territory, which is, uh, yeah, I had had a number of very interesting tactical games from this position. But uh, this system, anti Sveshnikov basically, uh, makes it much more positional. And what does Leela do with it? Well, let's see. This is the, still the opening book given from the first game to run this gauntlet. H3 and up to here, Bishop G7. So what would Leela do from this hip position here? Well, her first move, D3. We have Knight F6, Knight C3. And believe it or not, they're both following still the World Championship up to Knight D7 here. It's here that a change occurs. Bishop E3 uh, in the World Championship game, E5 was played here. Ethereal chooses in this position, B6. And now Leela actually does put the Queen on D2, which didn't actually uh, occur. So this is new territory. And it, it gives some insight, I believe, into the position. Uh, let's see what happened. H6. So Leela castled. And now Knight F8. So this, this should ring a bell. <laughs> this kind of maneuver with the pawn on H6 is kind of ringing a bell. But it's quite different with the Queen on D2 here. Knight H2, yeah, still with similar ideas uh, to the World Championship game in a way. So F4 putting pressure on E5. E takes, Bishop takes, Knight E6. So Ethereal still... Uh, shares the concept of Magnus Colson actually to lock down the d4 square with this kind of fancy knight maneuver believe it or not so bishop e3 knight d4 so what happens in this position in this simulation rook a e1 bishop e6 knight d1 preparing to kick the knight queen e7 so black does have the potential flexibility of casting queenside hasn't used queen d6 like in the world championship game though and in fact we get some knight kicking moves so a4 knight d6 knight f3 and actually rook d8 so avoiding uh casting rights of casting queenside now threatening knight takes e4 leela plays bishop f4 indirectly defending the e4 pawn uh, we have knight c4, queen e2, knight a5. And now e5. Black now castles, because that pressure on h6 has been relieved, at least. Not losing the h6 pawn if there was a battery, battery here. We have knight f2, though, and it seems white's got a comfortable grip in the center with this e5 pawn wedge. g5, is this double-edged? g5, could that uh, be weakening in the future? Bishop g3. Bishop d5, and we have knight g4, rook d e8, queen d1. The bishop hits the queen, queen d2 offering a4, but it seems a little bit dangerous to take the a4 pawn here. If taking, then this variation, knight f6 check, and then knight e5. This is really dangerous for black's king on the king side, if we look at this. Uh, this is just showing some of the pitfalls of castling kingside in this line. So actually, black played queen, pardon me, queen d8 instead of nabbing the a pawn. We have h4 really undermining black's pawn chain. Yep. So uh, Magnus's king was far safer than Ethereal's king here in this 
engine simulation it seems <laughs> queen d7 we have knight f6 check bishop takes e takes getting the the dreaded form pawn around the king rook d8 h takes g so getting it seems a center pawn but queen f4 there's big dangers here for black's king knight c4 rook e4 so that stops any defensive tries later across this diagonal knight d6 trying to get that rook out of the way it goes to e7 now queen c4 trying to get the queens off leela obliges getting two form pawns now queen takes bishop takes but this is very very dangerous king h7 we have g4 and there's actually a really dangerous plan here with the rook on the seventh of playing g5 knight h4 and g6 check celebrating that pinned f7 pawn we have bishop d5 king f2 and the theory out of desperation plays knight e4 check it loses material uh basically but before we check that out it's say just a token move a5 just to show this plan g5 here and then knight h4 with the deadly idea of g6 check so for example this pushing for g6 check is absolutely crushing this will be absolutely crushing so this is desperate now black's actually just been busted so the simulation shows at the moment that yeah casting kingside can be dangerous in this variation so white is now material up and uh soon to be officially a one by adjudication actually so knight g5 knight f3 c4 this is another it's it's a it's a desperate uh, situation because of things like knight e5 check so this is desperate giving up more material hold bishop down and here adjudicate is a win for white if it carried on a5 say undermines black's pawns and that's a comfortable win there <laughs> so we get a little bit of fun insights yeah if if black castles king sign in this variation is f4 plan it could be a very shaky uh situation for black's king so just as well that magnus carlson in game one of the world championship castled queenside although yeah some of the ideas seem to uh, echo about with the fancy knight maneuver uh with playing for f4 and knight h2 so that some 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 funny similarities but major differences of king safety expressed in this uh, engine simulation which i hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy it please click on the top left box to become a member at chessbowl.net uh, and that has my reference code to be invited for tournaments etc and play other youtubers of 105.3 you can also check the youtube analysis of these simulation games these uh engine gauntness thematic for the world championship on the improve menu learn from the masters youtube order okay comments questions like share subscribes with the notification bell all appreciated thanks very much